There's a trigonometric trig concept that confuses a lot of students. When we're given inverse sine of half equals x, yes, we could rewrite that as sine of x degree equals one half. However, the x value here has to be one and only one value since the original function, the inverse function, equals x and the x or the output can only have one value. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a function. Let's start by looking at a unit circle. Remember, the x value here is the cosine of the angle and the y value of the point is going to be the sine value of the angle. Meaning here, if I have sine of 30 degrees, it equals half. And if we change that to an inverse function, inverse, val inverse sine of 1 half equals 30 degrees. Meaning the x value here is 30 degrees. What a lot of people tend to do is, since the value of 150 degree equals, or sine of 150 degree equals half, they would write down x equals 150 degree as well. And that's the reason why we have this rule where it says that inverse sine of a equals x degrees, that x must be between negative 90, which is down here, and 90 degrees, which is at the top or at the pi over 2 value. So the inverse sine has to be in quadrant 1 or quadrant 4 only. Therefore, x equals 150 is eliminated as part of our answer for the inverse sine of half equals x equation. What about sine of y degrees equals half? Just as we did down here, sine of 30 degrees equals half, meaning we know that y equals 30 degrees. However, we can't stop there because again, sine of 150 degrees equals half as well. So we know that sine of 150 degrees equals half. So we have to go ahead and include 150 degrees as part of our solution. However, we're not finished. Here's a reason why. We continue from the 30 degrees here and come all the way around, meaning adding 360 degrees, we end up at 390 degrees. So if I take sine of 390 degrees, again, if we add 360 to the 30 degrees that we started with, we end up with sine value of half again. What does that mean? We need to go ahead and add 390 degrees as part of our solution to the sine of y equals half equation. Same thing. If we start from the 150 degrees here, and if I go all the way around, adding a 360 degrees, then sine of 510 degrees equals half also. What do we have to do? We have to go ahead and add 510 degrees as part of our solution as well. Are we finished? No, because on top of that, 390 that we had, if we go around 360 degrees again, we get a sine value of half as well. How do we write this as our complete solution? The way to do it is you take the first one that we have, 30 degrees, and you add 360 degrees times n, where n is an integer value. We do the same with the 150 degrees, the other angle here in the quadrant two. We'll take the 150 degrees and add 360 n, where n is an integer. So there you have it, folks. In order to completely write the solution for the y value, you have to rewrite it. You have to write it as 30 plus the 360 n and also 150 plus 360 n, where n is an integer value.